Fargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Space Station. Clutch! Clutch! He won! That's great. I knew he would. Paddlefoot beat all the other dogs. It says that Paddlefoot has an IQ of K-9, one point higher than the next closest dog. So he's been selected to make a trip in the space and return. Golly, Paddlefoot, are we proud of you. Paddlefoot passed the difficult test with flying colors. For instance, even in the correct button-pushing test, his score was 100%. And in the final test, set in the maze, where he had to figure out which door led to the reward, Paddlefoot went straight to the objective, demonstrating amazing dog sense. The space flight is scheduled for dawn tomorrow. And we'll be there, eh, Paddlefoot? Wow, wow. With a few last-minute adjustments, Paddlefoot is placed in the nose cone of a huge rocket. All the instruments are in working order. I don't see how we can fail. Besides, with the recordings of your voice giving Paddlefoot instructions, Spinner, he can't miss. That was a smart idea, Professor. Paddlefoot will do whatever his master commands. My assistant, Dr. Hogenweiler, will be in charge of playing the records by remote control. All preliminary tests are complete. Operation Arfarf is about to begin. Golly, it won't be long now. Take this microphone spinner and say so long to Paddlefoot. We're sure proud of you, Paddlefoot. And be sure to mind the instructions. We'll be right here waiting when you get back. So long. Perfect takeoff. Now we go into my rocket tracking laboratory. The rocket is now 300 miles above Earth. It will be outside the Earth's atmosphere in seven minutes. Now, Paddlefoot, be calm. The first stage is about to drop off. When I say go, push the red button at the right. Get ready? Go! Everything is going according to plan. Paddlefoot will be in orbit any minute now circling the Earth at 18,000 miles an hour. Here is an important announcement. The nose cone carrying the intrepid space dog Paddlefoot is now in orbit. He will circle the Earth once every hour. And here is the last picture taken of this heroic dog before he boarded his spaceship. Golly, isn't he brave, Clutch? Here he goes, a thousand miles overhead. We will receive reports from other tracking stations as he makes the orbit. Hello? Who? Oh. Tracking station Y? Yes? What is that? You don't? Oh, my! What is it, Professor? Something wrong? It's Paddlefoot! The signal was loud and clear. Then suddenly the signal stopped. Then that means Paddlefoot's... I am afraid, though, Paddlefoot is lost. Is Paddlefoot really lost? Will they find him? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Space Station. You remember last time, Paddlefoot had won the space tests for dogs. He had started a trip into space and returned, after orbiting only once. The signal was loud and clear. Then suddenly the signal stopped. Then that means Paddlefoot... I'm afraid so. Paddlefoot is lost. But Clutch, we gotta find him. Poor Paddlefoot, way out there in outer space all alone. We'll find him, Spinner. Professor Knockworth, do you have any more rockets available? Many of them, Clutch. We always have a few spares ready to go. Good. Spinner and I are ready to blast off immediately. Spinner and you? What about me and my assistant? You mean you want to go too? You bet. But first we have to build a space station so we can have a place to refuel our rocket for searching. But, Professor, that will take months to build. Nonsense. I have invented a rocket that can be torn down, then put together again, 
to make a complete space station. Come over to the window. I will show you my invention. The middle rocket is for passengers. The other two carry fuel and equipment. Incredible, Professor. Why didn't someone think of that before? Well, who knows? Can we start now? All we must do is blow up the giant balloon that raises the rockets to their starting point, and then off we go. The giant balloon is inflated, the rockets attached, and the rescue party is aboard and ready. Get that. Steady now. Cut ropes. We're off. Now we can only find paddle for it. Here is a news flash. Clutch Cargo and Spinner with Professor Knockwurst and Dr. Hoganweiler have just taken off on their search for the intrepid space dog, Paddlefoot. We are picking up speed. Soon we will blast off. All three rockets are controlled by the buttons and dials in this rocket. Professor, you have a marvelous brain. I know it. Now we are ready to blast off. But Professor, that balloon is right in front of us. How? <laughs> you watch, Spinner. Now, I will fire up the rockets. Now, we! Right through the balloon! According to my calculations, we're just about ready to stop. You are right, Clutch. We have arrived. Hey, there's nothing here but space. How are you going to build a station way up here? Simple, Spinner. Don't you remember? Out here in space, nothing weighs anything. There's no gravity pull, so we float the space station. Okay, Professor. I've cut the rocket motors. Good. Now our speed is gone, we stop. We are now floating free. Now I push a button, and the two outside rockets open up to form a space station. Now look out the window, and you will see our space platform. Golly, and we can land our rocket right on it for fuel. Next, we set our rocket down on so to work. There are a few bolts to tighten. Okay, if I get out, Clutch? Okay, Spinner. As soon as I've checked your space helmet. Whee! Clutch! Look! I'm floating like a bubble! Clutch and Professor Knockwurst work steadily, tightening bolts. There. That's the last one. Can Clutch save Spinner as he drifts from the space station? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Space Station. Last time, Clutch and company with Professor Knockwurst and Dr. Hoganweiler set out in space with a new type of rocket to set up a space station and search for Paddlefoot. They had arrived when... Clutch! Help! Help! I'm running away! Help, Clutch! Save me! Help, Clutch! I'm floating away! Steady, Spear. I'll get you. Wait, Clutch! You can never get him without this portable space propellant. Just push the little hand button on compressed air pushes you along. It recharges itself. That's great, I'll try it. Here goes. Good luck, Clutch. Clutch! I'm coming. Got you, boy. we must pass through a very dense asteroid belt on our way to Mars. What is an asteroid belt? Floating rocks. Some very big, some small. That were once a planet that exploded. Now they float in space in a ring or belt around the planet Mars. The professor has invented a safety device for flying through the asteroids. You better get ready to use it, Clutch. Look! <laughs> 
compressor's device works. Here goes. It worked, Clark. Listen to him hit. That's quite an asteroid shower. Yeah. I think we're out of it now. Listen, no more rocks. It won't be long now, Spinner. We're almost there. Golly, I hope we find Paddlefoot. We've arrived, Spinner. But I think we'll make a few passes to see if anyone lives on Mars. Watch! I saw something shining just as we passed over. Maybe it's Paddlefoot's nose cone. Could be, Spinner. We'll turn around to the lab. Here goes. Space helmet okay? Sure thing, Clutch. That's what I saw, Shiny. It's a rocket nose cone, all right. If Paddlefoot's there, I hope he's all right. Sorry, Spinner. That's not Paddlefoot's nose cone. A good thing, too. Look how it's smashed. Golly, I'll say. Well, I'm kind of glad Paddlefoot isn't here. This planet Mars is deserted, all right. Not a single living thing in sight. Uh-oh, maybe not. But what's that rising out of the ground? What nature of person lives on Mars? Are Clutch and Spinner in danger? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Space Station. Last time, Clutch and Spinner left the space station to search for Paddlefoot. On Mars, they found a nose cone from a crashed rocket, but no Paddlefoot as they started to leave. Strange. I feel as though something is watching me. Yeah, I feel it too. But that's silly. There's no living thing here. We're the first humans to find this out. I'm afraid we've had no luck in finding Paddlefoot. I think we better get back to see how Professor Knockworth is making out at the space station. Holy clutch, this doesn't mean we're giving up the search, does it? No. But there's only one more planet that's close enough to reach from the space station, and that's Venus. Venus? Golly! You mean maybe we can go there, too? As long as we're this close to it, and if the professor advises it, we'll go. Thanks. We just gotta find Paddlefoot. And now to get the rocket started. You ready? Ready, Clutch. The starter's dead. Uh -huh. I'm sure the atomic battery's all right, but there's no reaction. Well, what about the wires? I'm going to check them now. Don't see anything wrong with these wires. I'll check the other side. Maybe it's over there. Believe it or not, Spinner, it was a wire. It came loose probably when we came through that asteroid shower. Anyway, it's fixed. Hurry, Clutch. It's too scary here. We'll try again. <laughs> and Spinner arrive at the space station without mishap. Ah, oh, welcome back, my friends. Did you have a nice trip? And did you find Paddlefoot? It was quite a trip, but we didn't find Paddlefoot. We came back to refuel. Ah, oh, yes. Ethel or regular. Fill her up with the best you've got, Professor. We'd like to fly to Venus and look for Paddlefoot there. Your tank is filled, oil check on windshield cleaned. I hope you find Paddlefoot this time. Thanks, folks. Spinner's already in the rocket. Poor kid. Sure hope we find his dog. Good luck. We going now, Clutch? You bet, Spinner. Clutch pushes the rocket throttle full on as they head for Venus. There she is, Spinner. Venus. 
We're coming in. What's all that green stuff? Some kind of mist. And it's getting thicker the closer we get in. I'll say it is. It really looks like green peas, too. We'll have to go on special sonar radar, or we might crash into the planet. By golly, we're heading in on something that's made of metal. Hear that beep? Yeah, Coach, but we still can't see anything. I hate to say this, Spinner, but I think we'd better turn back. It's just getting too bad. But Clutch! I know how you feel, Spinner, but... Hey, Clutch, listen! Hear that? It's Cattlefoot! Cattlefoot, he's alive! It's the signal from his nose cone! He's down there somewhere! Is it possible that they found Cattlefoot? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. adventure, Space Station. You remember last time, Clutch and Spinner returned from Mars, then started immediately for Venus, still in search of Paddlefoot. A dense green mist surrounded Venus, and as they were about to turn back... Hear that? It's Paddlefoot! Paddlefoot, he's alive! It's the signal from his nose cone! Clutch! These dog barks are getting louder! And look, something's shining over there! It looks like a... Do you suppose? I know it's cold. See anything? No, Clutch. Only another window beside our window. It surely does look like a window, but... Look! Somebody's pulling down the shade. That's no shade, Spinner. That's an eyelid. Something huge is looking at us with that monstrous eye. What do you think it is? I don't know. I'm going to find out. Well, if I hadn't seen it, I wouldn't believe it. Look! A big green frog! Oh, look out! Don't act scared. He's going away. Hurry, Clutch, before he comes back. Let's find Paddlefoot. We've got to get the door open. It's Paddlefoot, all right. What's happened to him? He's a little teeny puppy again. That's because he got lost in space-time. And got younger and younger. Oh, oh. Well, I don't care just as long as his paddle foot. Oh, oh. Look! That giant frog again. He's cut us off from the rocket. I know, Spinner. You're folding model airplane. Here it is, Clutch. Wind it up and let it go. He may think it's a giant fly and go after it. Here goes! He's working. Look, there he goes. Come on, Spinner. In the rocket. So you're back. And look how little Paddlefoot is. Yes. He got caught in space-time, Professor. Ah, yes. For that, I have the answer. My special space-time machine, which I myself invented, for little dogs who get too young while flying in outer space. Now, I just set the timer at normal-sized dog, then... Go ahead, Paddlefoot. Go ahead. Paddlefoot! Paddlefoot, you're the same old Paddlefoot again! Professor, Clutch, here comes a rocket from Earth. Ah, uh, yeah, it has more materials for a second space station. Number two. Come on, Spinner. Roll up your sleeves. We've got work to do. We're with you, Clutch. <laughs> And so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and Space Station. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo.